Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Zittle Farms channel. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about the six things you need to know about installing a Tesla charger. I'll put one above here of a video of installing this, but with all the comments and questions that I've been getting, these are the six things that you need to know on installing this. If you guys like this video and it helped you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, that would be great. Now let's get started. First thing that you need to know is location. We put this charger towards the back of the garage. Um, I've done a couple of chargers now. I highly recommend putting it by the garage doors. That way you don't have to park your car in the garage every time. Also, if you have friends that have a Tesla that want to charge, they don't have to get in your garage. They just pull right up. You can pull the wire out. So I highly recommend putting the charger towards the front of the garage, in between your garage doors. Um, I would still leave it inside, even though these are safer outside, but the location is key. Second is the wire size. Tesla does say that six gauge wire is good, is approved. That's what I have here, six two wire. I'll put a, a link or a screenshot here of that wire that I got at Lowe's, um, but they haven't, they've had it on back order for a while now. And so I went to the THHN type of wire where you buy it by the foot. Um, you can still use six gauge wire, but for a couple cents more, you can upgrade to the four gauge wire. It's a little safer, holds the heat longer, constant uh, charging like that. Um, I do recommend the four gauge wire. That's what I've been using now on the installs. Um, four gauge for the two hots, and then an eight gauge for the ground. So that brings me to number three is this only has two hots or two loads, or I'm sure there's more specific description for that, and a ground. You don't need three two wire. You only need to run two hot wires and a ground wire. A lot of questions come about that. If you're using the 6-2 Romex, uh, it comes black and white you are going to have to mark that white wire with a red or black electrical tape so that people know that that is hot and not just a neutral. The fourth thing, what you're gonna need to run this wire through is the conduit size. And I didn't know if we should go half inch, three quarter or an inch. And all my installs now, I've been using the three quarter inch flex tubing here. Um, this works perfectly fine. It still fits the two four gauge wire and the ground wire. Uh, it's a little tight. I wouldn't want to do 50 feet pulling of it, but I, the last one I did was about 15 feet and that was fine. Um, it pulls pretty smoothly through here. There is no seams or anything if you're using hard plastic PVC or anything like that. So once again, three quarter inch conduit. The fifth thing is to get the max out of your charging and the max miles per hour that you get while it's plugged in is to use a 60 amp double pull breaker. That's the max that you can use for these chargers, and it is safe for six gauge and the four gauge that I've been using and highly recommend for the couple cents more. Um, but a 60 amp double pull breaker is what you need. The last thing is how simple this is. I'm not a professional electrician. I'm not saying that I am at all, um, but it is pretty simple to run these or to hook these chargers up. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the six things that you need to know about installing the Tesla charger unit. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. That would help me out immensely. 
And if you need help installing one of these wall connectors, again, I have a video that I did about two years ago that's pretty straightforward, no filler, straight to the point on how to install it, which should help you out. I hope you guys had a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.